Hi, and welcome to a brief video tutorial of the Unit A ISU. In this ISU, you need to use a lot of the knowledge and skills that you've learned throughout the course of the unit. Because what you're going to be doing is allowing a user to input a specific number of coins, and when they have entered the number of coins that you they have, you are going to create a calculation that creates a sum of the total dollar amount of the coins that they have. In order to do this, um, we have the following. Whoops. We have, um, we need to declare our numerical variables. So, um, I am going to declare T equals zero. T stands for toonies. L is going to equal zero. So this is our default amount. Okay, so if the person decides that they don't have uh, any of the particular coins, then it will automatically default to zero. Um, I am going to do Q for quarters. Um, I'm doing this simply because it's the first letter of the name of the coin, and it's easier for me to remember it that way. Okay, then we're going to do a text window dot right line and open a bracket, open our quotes, please enter the number of toonies you have. And we close our quote and close our brackets. The next thing we do is text window.read, and that's the command to the program to read whatever input was given. Okay, and now we have to do, um, oh, sorry. Okay, we have to uh, reply, okay, to the user. So we do a text oops, window dot right line. You said you had, okay. Then I'm gonna close my quotes and you'll notice that I did this incorrectly by not opening my quotes because the text was uh, black. So there we go. I'm also gonna add the space. Again, this is just because it looks good. I need a concatenation, okay? And I am going to uh, add T, okay? And I now have to change the value of t, so t equals, whoops, um, in order for it to read the, the text window, uh, t equals text window read, okay? Text window right line, you said you had, then I'm gonna concatenate again and just add the word toonies, okay? Um, and again, make sure that I have pairs of brackets and pairs of quotes, because if I don't, I will get error messages, okay? So you can change the value of the toonie, loony, quarter, dime, and nickel um, with the text window read, all of that information, because each of them is a different variable, will be held in memory. And ultimately, you are going to have to create a sum of toonies and loonies. Please remember that each of these coins has a different value. Um, and in order to convert it to currency, you have to multiply by the value of the coin itself, not just 
the number of coins. This is where it gets a bit tricky. If you need to know what the values of the coins is, um, please come and ask. Okay, so let's see if I have done this correctly. Now, I've only done the toonies, so I'm going to say I have 18 toonies, and it tells me that I had 18 toonies. I don't like this because the 18 and the toonies jam up, but that's fine. Um, this is just the beginning. There's a lot of other things you need to figure out. Um, you may want to do some variable tracking and do some charts to help you organize yourself. Don't forget both your um, internal comments and your external planning. I'm here to help you with this. Please just ask if you're stuck.